Swamiji, uh, did you have ever opportunity to meet any Himalayan teachers? Any experience if you can share with us? I don't go to Himalayas to meet anybody. At the same time, the mystical dimension of Himalayas preserved there in so many ways. Many, 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 probably no other place in the world. Every, every part of the world has places where certain people have left certain energies in certain situations around them, which will always be there. But I don't think, not I don't think, I've traveled everywhere, there isn't another place which has seen as many mystics as Himalayas has witnessed, no other place on the planet. If you're sensitive to it, it's not just a mountain, it's something else. It's not your belief. I'm not talking about believing Himalayas are sacred or whatever. Many, many yogis and mystics choose never to speak, never to teach, but uh, their longing to share is not any less. So, they will leave their work in a different form. There are many places like this, the Vellingiri Mountains, very powerful. If you go up to the seventh hill, anybody been there? Seventh hill? Hmm? You went up to the seventh mountain? Hmm. If you go there, a very, very powerful place, some yogis left that situation in such a way that the whole place vibrates so much. If you go there, if you're a little sensitive, it will shake you from the root of your spine. Like this, there are many places. If you are open to it, if you are sensitive and receptive to it, whatever these yogis were, all their life's work and their tradition is simply left there in a different form. You can always access it. In that sense, Himalayas is too rich too saturated. The surrounding areas of Kedar, Yukteswar and other places have witnessed so many beings. See, if you work with your body, if you use your muscle and work, the lifespan of your work is of a certain length. It dies after that. All the billions and billions of people who lived on this planet before you and me came here. Where is all their work? All they have left is their reproduction. Beyond that, nothing else is there. If you work with your body, the span of that work is only that much. If you work with your mind, then the span of that work is little more. It extends itself. But if you work with your life energies, that dimension is forever. Even if the planet goes away, that will not go away. As you have an internet, there is a yogic net. If you are willing, you will see Gautama, the Buddha is not 2500 years ago, he's just today. He is alive today as he was 2500 years, years ago. Only thing is now, he doesn't have the burden of physical body. The physical body is a restriction. Whatever comes through a physical body, you will have likes and dislikes with it, isn't it? So, once free from the physical process, 
it becomes even more empowered and effective.